Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us here on KXAN Live. I am Will Dupree. We hope you're enjoying your Wednesday. Thanks for joining us for this conversation. During the ongoing pandemic, we have been tracking what life may be like and how we're going to navigate that now that more people are becoming vaccinated against COVID-19. So to start things off, we want to catch you up on the latest data. Yesterday, the Texas Department of State Health Services reported that more than half of the state's population has now gotten at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Meanwhile, almost 40% are now fully vaccinated. Safety conversations are happening now about whether businesses, schools, or venues may require people to provide proof of vaccination to get into buildings or attend events or gain services. Last month, you may remember that Governor Greg Abbott issued an executive order effectively banning so-called vaccine passports. He released this video right here on YouTube when he announced this executive order. In it, it states that government agencies or organizations that receive public funds cannot require proof of vaccination for entry or services. Now, what about other situations? That particular question has raised a lot of attention for something that was created by a Colorado doctor. He made what's called the Immuniband, which you see right here next to me. Now, earlier today, we wanted to find out more, so I called up Dr. Tashoff Burnton, and he did an interview with me about this particular product and exactly how it works. We wanted to share that with you now, so here is that conversation. Stay with us. Dr. Tashoff Burnton, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Glad to be here. Dr. Burton, um, a lot of people are getting vaccinated right now, and they may be wondering what they do with that vaccine card they get when they get all of their shots. Uh, for me, mine is tucked away in a drawer at home at the moment. So um, what you created kind of piqued my interest, and I think a lot of other people's. Tell us about what the Immuniband is exactly. Sure. The Immuniband is it's a silicone bracelet says Immuniband on it. And then it also has a metal tag that has a QR code on it. And the QR code is like what you see on a menu. And basically what it does is it can take you directly, you upload your card and it takes you directly to your vaccine card. The band really does two things. The first is it just shows your support for the vaccination project. It shows the people around you that you've been vaccinated um, that helps as the CDC is opening things up and basically saying, look, people uh, who are not vac who are vaccinated can get together without masks. Uh, but then the question arises, how do you know who's vaccinated? And this is a visible symbol of the vaccination. It also allows you to have all your documentation of vaccination with you if you want to. Um, and that's the important thing. It's a voluntary choice. People can choose to have it or not but you're not going to lose your vaccine card. It's not going to get spindled or mutilated, and it's there. We've had people use that to get into Madison Square Garden, uh, where they require vaccination or uh, proof of COVID negative. Uh, we, more importantly, we've had people uh, get the uh, Krispy Kreme free donut promotion by using the Immuniband as their uh, documentation of vaccination. I saw all the pictures you shared with me, including the one from Krispy Kreme, which was pretty interesting, too, that somebody even used that there. Um, I, I would imagine that you're getting a lot of questions from people, though, about sharing their vaccine card, medical information with this. Uh, first of all, what all do you require if you do get the Immuniband and how protected is that? Very good questions. First, um, you have to have completed the vaccination process and you have to upload your vaccination card. OK, now, obviously. You know, they're the same issues with that vaccination card as there are with any vaccination card. But we do inspect each one. Uh, we look at it. We make sure it has all of the appropriate information on it. Uh, as far as security, there's really two things. One, it's pin code protected. So when you pull up the QR code, it doesn't go directly to your uh, vaccination card. It goes to a screen that allows you to enter a pin code your own which you choose and can change and then after you enter the pin code it shows the vaccination uh the date and it shows the vaccination card itself um 
the data is encrypted on a HIPAA compliant server. Um, we, we take data security very, um, very uh, seriously. And so both it's protected by a pin code if the, vac if the bracelet is lost, and it's also protected in terms of its resident on, a, uh, on an encrypted server. And you mentioned that this has already been used to gain entry into some places. Um, are you working with any particular venues or businesses here in Texas to do that same thing? Uh, we are working with a number of businesses, but we've been out a month, so we haven't yet had the opportunity to work with Texas businesses, although Texas uh, individuals have purchased the Immuniband. We have a taxi company that's in discussions with us about using it, and a lot of it is we have a number of restaurants that are entering into partnerships. A lot of it is just people who want to be able to signal both their support for the vaccination program, and as a physician, I strongly support the vaccination program. I think that's, frankly, the major difference between us and uh, countries like Brazil and India who are having an absolute terrible time. Um, and I think that the value in being able to signal to, uh, for example, uh, the, the public from a business that your employees are vaccinated, that they're safe is very important and helpful. Someone may be interested in buying one of these. What is the price? Price is $19.99. You just go to immuniband.com and you go ahead and you purchase the bracelet. And then we send you an email, you upload your card. And once the card information is uploaded and you select whether you want your name on the bracelet or whether you just want the QR code, then we ship the bracelet and we get it engraved and ship it. All right, everybody, that was uh, Dr. Tashoff Burton. He is the creator of the Immuniband. More information about that product he's created and how exactly it works. If you have any other questions, we've uh, created a pretty in-depth story on our website, kxan.com, to share some more information. Um, another piece of this is that uh, Dr. Burton said that part of the profits from Immuniband sales are actually going to be donated to charities providing COVID-19 relief. And he let me know this morning that uh, the next, the first donation, I should say, is going to go out next week. And it's going to two nonprofits in particular. That is AmeriCares and Direct Relief. Those two different nonprofits will be receiving money from this. So, again, if you'd like to find out a little bit more information, uh, it's on our website, kxan.com. And if you have the news app on your smartphone, you can click on it and read on it there. So I'll send you to that, too. Thanks again for watching, everybody. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Will Dupree here in the KXAN Live studio. We'll see you back here at another time. Please be safe and healthy and take care.